Welcome to the Geek Den for issue 113 of the Star Trek Starship Collection. This is the Lucirum Warship. Uh, this is in the box. Let's have a little quick look through the magazine. Uh, so the Lucirum uh, appeared in the episode uh, Body and Soul where uh, the Doctor transferred his consciousness or his program into Seven of Nine. Uh, season 7 I do believe. Uh, here we are. Uh, with the nice front view of the ship. Uh, so we get a nice view of the uh, Lucirum warship here. There is a Lucirum. Uh, obviously this is all in-universe information. Here mainly about the, the episode. As you can see. So we get a nice view here of the top. Front, back, uh, side view. Uh, so they're quite nice views there. Uh, then a little bit trivial. Now... The design of the uh, or the reuse of the Lycurum warship. Now, uh, it actually appeared uh, as other ships, as you can see here. The four here, uh, six in fact here, seven if you look use the uh, Lycurum one as well. But it actually uh, appeared first in Voyager before Lycurum. So Lycurum wasn't the first use of the ship. Uh, also with um, Eagle Moss. Uh, now, obviously. They're all different colours and all different ways, and sh and uh, they've changed it very slightly. But uh, I don't think we'll ever get this design of ship again. So that makes me kind of wonder why they've chose the Lakiran one, maybe over the patrol ship, maybe, or the battle cruiser that was in Enterprise. Uh, I don't know really why they chose the Lakiran version. It's a nice version, um, but obviously there was loads of different ones that they chose from. Uh, maybe this one was the better one, um, but we probably won't get the other variations of that ship. We might do if they continue to uh, extend it. Uh, and then we got an interview with Robert Picardo here, which obviously played the Doctor on Voyager. So this is just an interview. I'm not too sure when the interview was. It's not recent. Um, it's not a brand new interview, but it goes on about his time on Voyager and stuff like that uh, then we've got some trivia here and obviously the episode body and soul uh, and then we've got issue 114 the challenger class which will bring you here at the geek dance so make sure you click to subscribe and then we have a nice top view of the ship here so let's get it open and take a look and here she is out of the box and it's really nice um it's got a lot of detail on it uh these sort of ships you kind of think uh, you see the bigger ones and you see the big problems that they have with a lot of the other ships when they try to make them bigger or smaller. Yet yeah, this sort of just shows you that they can actually do something really well done and really good. So we're going to do the uh, shake test, which is what I do on all of them. So, and I always do this just in case they get knocked or bashed. So uh, it doesn't stay on very well if knocked like this. Uh... Yeah, it kind of not very good on there. Uh, there's the stand. There's the uh, the thing here. It's sort of just goes right here on the middle. Uh, then we have the Kiram warship. So let's just take a closer look at this. Uh, as you can see, there's so much detail on this. There we go, and it's just so nice. It's got some really nice sort of speckly gold paint on it as you can see here uh, in terms of uh, die cast uh, the only plastic bit is underneath so this this cutout section here you can see that is die cast the, um, that is plastic shall I say the rest is all die cast the whole thing is it doesn't feel very heavy 
but it uh but yeah it's um it's got quite a lot in it i know some ships have not any and you get ones like this that do um some nice molds here on the thrusters we've got this here i, I do imagine this here here's like the deflector dish or the weapon or something it might have could have been painted but that doesn't that doesn't really matter i mean it's just really well obviously we have misalignment as you can see here but that is like a sort of common thing that we're getting now on the eagle Moss side of things um yeah it's just really nice got these nice wings here um and stuff i think uh let's have a look at the back so the back we have i would imagine this is maybe the engine or some sort but i mean in terms of detail it's really nice and it's very detailed uh maybe that's why they went for the the kiram warship maybe it was a bit more detailed than the rest of them i'm not entirely sure but we won't get any other variations <coughs> of this ship um we, like I said, we, we may do. I, I doubt it, though, um, just because they all seem very similar. I mean, some of them have got them without here and other little things. I mean, it's not enough, to, I don't think, to warrant another one. But uh, it's a really nice it's a really nice addition to the collection. That is the Lakiran warship. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Actually, I've just noticed something just before we go off. Um, if I... Uh, focus here a minute now they are very much misaligned but uh, from far away let's uh, let's just stick it back on here and you, you really can't see it from this far you can't see it from this far back that they are actually misaligned also as well this is also misaligned I think the white paint is supposed to be better up but anyway, uh, yeah, it's a nice addition. It's it's typically a Uh But it does sort of show you that with detailing, they can actually do something really nice. Uh, it's just a nice addition. Um, and, and that's it really for us here at the Geek Den. And we'll hopefully you like the video and we'll see you at the next one.